In this video, we will learn how to make calls from one phone to the other. So I'll start logging in in the control panel. Admin, the password here is OpenSIPS. Okay, so here we have our users. But before we create users, we need to create domains. So we have created two domains, 192.168.15.94 and OpenSIPS.org. OpenSIPS.org does not resolve to 192.168.15.94. And later I'll show you how to, how to solve this. If you do a CMD and you ping OpenSIPS.org, it, it will point to some, in, some address on the internet that is not the address of your server. But I'll teach you how to solve this on the soft phone. Okay, so users. I will create two users on this on the system. So let me go to the user management. I will do an add new. The first user will be Alice. Password. Hashtag Alice. Hashtag. Confirm password. Hashtag Alice. Hashtag. Register. Okay, save. And the second user I'm going to create is Bob. Bob, hashtag Bob. Okay, it's not working because uh, too small. Right, so there are some restrictions. So I will put the password Bob, Bob. And then here, some Bob, Bob, and register. So I have two users registered. But it's for soft phones, it's very easy to call Alice and Bob. Uh, let me register uh, Alice and Bob anyway. So the first one I'm going to do is Zoiper. Look, I have created this users on the 192.168.15.94. So this is the user, so I'm using the IP address, not the domain. Later, I'll create for the IP, for the domain. So first thing, Zoiper. <clears throat> okay, and Zoiper, continue as a free user. Uh, let me use Alice at 192.168.15.94 password hashtag alice hashtag login next i don't need outbound proxy skip and in this case i'm going to use cpdp skip yes and create account created and registered how do i know that it's registered in the contacts here i have I have it registered. So I have the contact is in the 189.27 uh, something. Right, quite interesting. So this is my actually external address. Hmm. There's something uh, interesting here. With this configuration, my soft phone is pointing to an external address and this is not good. So I'll change the configuration. I'm going to the config in the accounts, on the Alice account, I'm going to the advanced. As we are running in a, an unusual configuration with a virtual machine in our own machine, and our server is not on the internet, I will have to disable uh, a resource called uh, stun. Right, don't use stun. Why I don't have to use stun? Stun is an, is an utility that grabs your external address, the external address of your server. This helps to work with net traversal. It's great when you're connecting to a voice provider, but as you're connecting to an internal server, if you provide your external IP address contact, it will not work very well. So that's why I'm disabling stun. Perfect. So let's see. Let me delete this contact and let me see the contacts again, delete contact. Let me now go here and unregister and register again. Let's see. 
Ah, contact two. Now I have the internal address, 1539. This is the contact one. Uh, it's deleted, right? So I don't need to, to worry about. This is the new contact. This is the one working. This is my new IP address. Great. Let's do the same on Blink. So let me call here Blink. Blink is, is another soft phone. All the soft phones are free. You can download Blink from www.icanblink. And you can download Zoiper from www.zoiper.com. Download Zoiper. I'm using Zoiper 5 and I'm using uh, Blink. You can also use MicroSIP if you want. These are the ones that I, that I like most. Okay, mainly Blink. Blink is my favorite phone. Accounts, add account. So display name Bob, address Bob at 192.168.1594 and password hashtag Bob, Bob and add. Bob is registered, I know that with this point here. Now Bob can call Alice. I'm not affiliated to any of these phone providers, right? So I don't, don't earn commissions or anything on this. So uh, you can choose whatever uh, free SIP soft phone you want. Another good one is MicroSIP. It's also easy to, to use and free, so you can download and use it. There are many free soft phones that you can use for this training. I'm just suggesting Zoiper and Blink. Perfect, so our first call is done.